Welcome everybody. It is Monday evening, uh, the 17th week after Pentecost. It is a beautiful day here in New Jersey. And uh, as we can see, Father is in his backyard. So uh, we can all enjoy the, the great outdoors. Um, what's that word? Um, through Father. We're, we're, we're living through his, through his backyard. I can't think of it. Well, anyway, you're muted, so we can't hear you. In virtua. Ah, there we go. So thank, thank you for that. And Aside thank from you. my neighbor getting his lawn mowed right now. It's, so I'll mute that. You can just see the beauty of it for now. Okay. All right. So it is, it is good to be together. Thank you for joining us. If you have intercessions or Thanksgivings you would like to share, please add them to the comment box now. If you, are live, if you are live on Facebook, we will uh, share those intercessions and thanksgivings at the appropriate point in the office. If you are on YouTube, as always, uh, please share your comments and we will share them at our next office tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. for morning prayer. So tonight, let's have evening prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the invitatory. O oh gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, <coughs> pardon me. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 77 and 79. I will lead with the odd verses. Please respond with the even. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. You keep my eyelids from closing. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love ceased forever? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? And I say, it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among peoples. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. They, the very deep, trembled. 
The clouds poured out water and the, the skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. O oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies of your servants to the birds of the air for food, the flesh of your faithful to the wild animals of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. They have become a taunt to our neighbors, mocked and derided by those around us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealous wrath burn like fire? Brought your anger on the nations that do not know you, and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob, and laid waste his habitation. Do not remember against us the iniquities of our ancestors. Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Let the avenging of the outpoured blood of your servants be known among the nations before our eyes. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. According to your great power, preserve those doomed to die. Return sevenfold into the bosom of our neighbors. The taunts with which they taunted you, O Lord. Then we were your people, the flock of your pasture. Well, then we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Oops. There we go. <laughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After this, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he found a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to see them, and because he was of the same trade, he stayed with them, and they worked together. By trade, they were tent makers. Every Sabbath, he would argue in the synagogue and would try to convince Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia, Paul was occupied with proclaiming the word, testifying to the Jews that the Messiah was Jesus. When they opposed and reviled him in protest, he shook the dust from his clothes and said to them, your blood be on your own heads. I am innocent. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. Then he left the synagogue and went to the house of a man named Titius Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next door to the synagogue. Crispus, the official of the synagogue, became a believer in the Lord, together with all his household, and many of the Corinthians who heard Paul became believers and were baptized. One night the Lord said to Paul in a vision, do not be afraid, but speak and do not be silent, for I am with you and no one will lay a hand on you to harm you, for there are many in this city who are my people. He stayed there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening is Canticle 15, the Song of Mary. Together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, you shall not murder, and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the hell of fire. So when you are offering your gift at the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother or sister, and then come in the, and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are on the way to court with him, or your accuser may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this evening is Canticle 17, The Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, and all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered, from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, excuse me, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and everywhere, men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for all those 
who are awaiting test results for, for peace in their heart and for healing of their bodies and minds. We pray for all those who are struggling with anxieties from, from work, from relationships, from difficulties. We pray for them to have healing in their hearts and their minds. O oh God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I'm sorry, and it didn't feel right. Please join me for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, that concludes evening prayer. Sorry for that little bump. It was uh, it was a busy, busy weekend, and uh, and I am a little a little worse for the wear. And uh, <laughs> thank 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 you for uh, for bearing with me. And uh, as always. God was God was praised, and that's that's what counts. So we well, and also my neighbors' uh, landscapers are having fun too. So, <laughs> and they are they are praising God in their own way. So uh, we are off now to our our uh, restful evening, God willing, and uh, we will see you again tomorrow morning for morning prayer at nine a.m. and evening prayer at five p.m. If you are on Facebook or on YouTube, tell all your friends, share the good news of uh, the, the work we do here in Spotswood at St. Peter's and uh, share, share our worship um, on Facebook. If you follow us, you will be notified when we come on live. And on YouTube, if you like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, you will be notified um, as soon as we post our, our video from uh, uh, later in the day. So anyway, I'm running out of gas. It's only five o'clock or six o'clock. I don't know. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>